we haven't even talked about uh I did the the last four episodes of Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Oh my god, that's right. Yeah, I saw that. I can't believe because I am such a huge I have seen every episode of every Star Trek except the animated ones. Those were a little rough this year. <laughs> so this I am a huge Trekkie also. So I was living in LA and I told you know, they were they were finishing all these Star Treks. They were like getting ready to go off the air. And I said, I've got a Les Landau, who's a friend of mine, directs a lot of the Star Treks. He called me to do one and I was out of town. And then finally, uh, I got a call. My agent called me and said, they're creating a character on Star Trek Deep Space Nine uh, that'll do the final four episodes because they're gonna make this character. Uh, Legget Broca, and he was a Cardassian, the lizard guy. Oh, man. So, and they said, you're going to go to the audition. If you get the audition, you're going to stay there because you're going to go right to wardrobe because they're going to have to, you know, because this is this whole thing. So, I go to the audition. I am a Star Trek fanatic. So, they had, and you know, do you know the Kardashian characters? They're like complete lizard people. Yeah, yeah. So and they have the big necks. The big and necks and everything. Yeah. Uh, so you could be any race as a Kardashian because you're completely covered up. And scales, basically. Scales and everything. So I go in there and they had all these British people in there. You know, <laughs> they, were, they were all talking, auditioning loud. I said, this is Star Trek. Everybody talks like <laughs> you know, like this. So, <laughs> so Avery Brooks was directing. Oh, he directed the. He couple, directed oh, wow. the two of the last four, and but I was auditioning for him, and it was like a chorus line. The room was full of people, and it kept getting cut down and cut down and cut down and cut down and it was like a joke we were there we were on the paramount lot so and they're they're so they're saying okay, okay thanks very much we'll yes, we'll call you yes and yes. The, oh my they're god and they would keep because they said if you got it you had to stay wow. and what happened is it got down to me and another person and i went Wow. And now I'm sitting next to the guy and we're in the hallway. That's gotta and be we go in one more time. And then the casting came out and he looked at the two of us and he turned to the other guy and goes, I'm sorry, maybe next time. <sighs> and I went uh, and then I had to sit out there until they made a deal. Until they had to call my agent oh, and wow. make a deal. And then when they made the deal, I went straight that neck thing that what I was wearing was made completely out of rubber. Huh. I mean, I did those episodes. I had to have lost 10 pounds minimally. I spent five hours in the makeup table wow. in the morning, every morning. It's so the heat in here is not too bad then. That's right. That's right. <laughs> oh, they, and I sweat <laughs> profusely. So when we got on set, I started bubbling. You know, because water was make it, oh, yeah. so they were turning all the fans on me and everything. Because I said, "Are you?" I said, "Are you trying to tell me all the principals spent?" Because it was a Cardassian principal on this thing. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. regular. I mean, and they go, "No, they give them an abbreviated version so they can whip it, whip it on." But they say the guest stars go through the full treatment because they are the ones that get judged for the for the awards because they go into and they airbrush every scale and and you know they're they give a like cheeks that are melded into the skin yeah. so that it's not a whole mask they are doing a whole thing so you get there in the morning you just you're like sleeping you're sleeping and the makeup people just yak 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 and you know, all the gossip was going on in hollywood <laughs> so you know i'm like oh, i you know. i always saw star trek is um I, I always think of like from Next Generation forward. Although Leonard, Leonard Nimoy, I think, is brilliant, and I think DeForest Kelly is brilliant too. I mean, people always accuse Shatner of overacting I and all that, Shatner. but I think he's amazing. But um, 
I always saw Star Trek really is like um, I, they really did choose some of the best actors. Oh yes, you know. Oh yeah, um, and I must say, this last group, they did very very well with Chris Pine and uh, Zachary, Zachary Quinto. Quinto and Zol- 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 Zolanda, whatever her name yeah, is, yeah. Zoe Zolanda. Yep. I. And the ones who were playing all those other people, you yeah, know, playing Bones and oh yeah, what's his name? Uh, um, he's a big swashbuckling actor. What is it? Guy who played Bones. Uh, uh, Simon Pegg is on. Oh, Simon Pegg and Simon Pegg from um, Simon Pegg Dread. and Scotty. Carl Urban. Yes, oh, Carl that's Urban. right. That's I right. loved his DeForest Kelly. I thought yes. it was so cool. I thought I thought they did a great job. And I was really skeptical, skeptical, oh, yeah. because it all p- hinged on Chris Pine. Oh yeah, absolutely. And he did a great job. He did not imitate, because a lot, you know, like Corbin, whatever his name is, was doing Bones. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And Zachary Quinto was Spock. Yep. And Chris Pine was 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 um, Kirk. But his own Kirk, but he was still the Kirk that you right. and that, you know, the cocky, the whole thing. I, I really, I was so pleased with that. Yeah, I, I thought it. I, I don't. He couldn't have gone the other way. It's just impression. Of any, <laughs> you know, it's like Shatner is sort of already a caricature. Oh, you yeah. know what I mean? Like you can't. It, it's it, like, it would have been. It would have been terrible to have yeah, done that. Yeah. I mean, talk about uh, Jason Alexander does great Kirk. I mean, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So we be, you know, you can't. You wouldn't have been able to watch the movie. It would have been a, you know, one of my favorite movie science fi takeoffs, of course, is Galaxy Quest. Yeah, I mean, hilarious, yeah. Hilarious, but wonderfully done. Um, was that, being part of that Star Trek legacy, did that did that mean a lot to you? Did you grow up watching Star Trek? Or? Oh, yeah. I grew up watching Star Trek, loved it. That's why I wanted to do it. And what made me think of that is when you were saying, how do, can people get in touch with you? I get more people getting in touch with me for my Star Trek stuff than anything else. From around the world, they will send my agents. <laughs> they have the, you know, they have the face cards yeah, and yeah. all that stuff. And they will pull stuff off and they want me to sign it and send it back for, for the Star Trek more. You know, occasionally, you know, when you're doing a theater piece, they will show up at the stage door. But they'll show up with Star Trek stuff, uh, Total Recall stuff, your other stage stuff, but in the mail, most of it has been Star Trek. You know, Legged Broca, because you're in the you're in the Bible. You know, you're in the lexicon of Star Trek. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. That's such a cool role, too. Yes. <laughs> yes. It was. Uh, you know, again, a bad guy. I don't know why they. <laughs> I'm a bad guy. I'm not a bad guy. Was uh, Avery Brooks was pretty cool. Or? Yeah, it was great. I I knew him. I wasn't. We weren't buddies, but I knew him from the theatrical scene because he's you know started out as a theatrical actor, and he has his one man show about Paul Robeson that you know tours the country. So uh, it was great to get a chance to work with him. Uh, and you know he was acting in it also, so it was uh, it was great fun. And I had another dramatic death scene where I was screaming and kicking and carrying on. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you know, uh, it's fun to get killed on screen. You know? you That's know. cool. Well, um, well, it's been, it's been really awesome talking to you and uh, yeah. I really appreciate you coming out to Astoria. It was um, fun. It was, like I said, it didn't take me till the longest part was trying to find a parking space. <laughs> cool. You know, Okay, well, if anyone wants to check out more info, uh, MelJohnsonJr.com, right? Yes, absolutely. Okay, and thanks again. My pleasure, Tom.